So uh, good afternoon. Um, I'm William Pauheide, the newish artistic co-director of the New York Studio Residency Program. Um, and I'm pleased to have an opportunity to quickly introduce or reintroduce uh, the program to you today. I'm going to try to uh, and very quickly cover a few central aspects of the program as an existing pedagogical uh, complement um, before addressing participation models uh, for homeschools and some questions raised by the review committee that I think are very relevant to the challenge um, that many of us are facing in the arts. And I just <laughs> want to say I have a little bit of design envy from um, the earlier presentations. I, I studied communication design at Syracuse for one semester before switching into painting. Um, <laughs> The, the questions raised by the review committee uh, were, what models exist now and how can they serve multiple institutions to make them more affordable for students? Are there other cities and other configurations that can be considered in future programming discussions? And I think this includes our relationship to design. Uh, and I'd like to hear more about the no tuition model. Um, and so before I really jump into the overview of what we offer, I want to just say, despite the challenges and costs of living in New York City, I believe it can provide students with a unique opportunity to help them make decisions about both where and how they want to proceed as working artists. Um, and I, while I think it's fair to say that we are living in a globalized um, art world, New York still offers a concentration of artists, galleries, museums, writers, collectors, and cultural opportunities that still make it a compelling destination for many young artists. Um, and, and I also completely understand the observation of another review committee member who said that many qualified students simply can't afford the experience. Um, and so I think these questions are extremely valid and I hope I can address them as I go um, through the presentation. So, uh, so really what I want to talk about is the student experience. Uh, the program offers uh, ACAD students a unique opportunity uh, to live and work in New York City for a semester. While I believe that the, that is the core of the program, in student interviews conducted by Jay Coogan, our oversight committee chair and president of MCAD, several students said that learning to work independently, set goals, manage their time, and balance life and work have been some of the most important parts of their experience at the program. A close second were the frequency of studio visits, and ultimately, um, all the students last semester were willing to recommend the program to others with the kind of caveat that it should be for the right student, which they characterized as a highly motivated, independent student. Uh, currently, are, we are still housed at 20J Street in Dumbo with another two years left on our lease. Uh, one thing that comes up from students coming from sculpture, printmaking, and photography majors is the kind of limited nature of our facilities. But I think it's really important for students to understand that when they leave school, they will have to figure out how to continue their practices without all of the supports that their home schools provide, including technology, equipment, and space. And I think it's uh, part of the learning experience that as artists, we have to figure out how to continue our practices after we leave school. Uh, I've, I've also found in my limited time at the program that each group of residents is unique, um, but I've had the pleasure of watching two groups form a tight-knit community very quickly. This semester, um, I also offer two available studios for visiting artist residencies through NIFA uh, to provide students with another way to interact with working artists. While this won't always be possible if we're meeting our enrollment chat, uh, goals of 18 students, I think it has provided some new voices and um, examples for the residents in the program currently. Um, and in terms of the curriculum, I was certainly hired to reevaluate and update the program's curriculum. This is part of the program that I am personally the most interested in making sort of more outward facing and really taking advantage of being in New York City. I think the question for me is what can't the students experience at their home schools? Um, and this is my first semester teaching the critical seminar at the program um, and it has given me a new perspective on how to integrate our visiting artist critic program with readings, lecture, and discussion. And I think this semester really is a work in progress um, and the student feedback has been really valuable for helping me um, meet their expectations of, about coming to New York and um, being a working artist. And, Everything that I heard from Elaine today about the kind of granular details of art and business was really important, and I think that's something we want to kind of bring to the program. It, it, you know, I don't think art, working artists should have to attend a one-week Lower Manhattan Cultural Council uh, week-long intensive to learn how to make like an income expense spreadsheet after graduation. Um, 
In terms of our visiting artist critic series, um, it's another responsibility that I've taken on. And, and I'm also trying to work with our studio seminar faculty, Glenn Goldberg and Pam Linz, to increase the number of guided visits with artists outside the program at their exhibitions and in their studios to learn more, not just about um, like our own internal practices as artists, but all the professional and social complexities that are involved in our various art worlds. Um, and a, another thing that we've been really talking about is trying to reconnect with our alumni network. And that was something that our administrative co-director, Alan Lupiani, was doing prior to my arrival. We're currently hosting some alumni meetups in the city. And one of the things that I'm trying to develop plans for is an annual uh, New York Studio Residency Program alumni exhibition. Um, and listening to um, Marcus talk today about kind of imaginary museums, I think a possible site of collaboration could be a kind of annual ACAD uh, student or faculty exhibition um, located maybe in New York or Los Angeles. Um, I'm sort of thinking about the VCU graduate programs exhibition space in Bushwick um, as a possible model for that. Um, so I think one of the things I really wanted to address today was um, how we might better collaborate through the New York Studio Residency Program um, and, and how the student experience is integrated at their home schools. During Jay's visit, uh, he asked students about the application process and we got ranges, uh, we got responses that ranged from, it was like pulling teeth to, I bugged the mobility coordinator every day to see if I could apply yet, uh, to I applied a week before the deadline. And so, Really, there's just these three areas that I want to kind of quickly cover. Um, the application and planning process uh, seems to vary from school to school. Um, and, and I think I would point out that Ringling um, has offered a kind of excellent model of effective integration uh, of our program with their fine arts major. Um, but generally, the students learn about the program from faculty and students. Um, I'm also aware that we haven't really had any visible marketing materials besides our website for a while, and that's something that we are currently putting together to share with the home schools. So I think as, you know, a certain minimum level of visibility is necessary to start the application process. Um, and that application's available, again, on our website. Um, at Ringling, though, the students are encouraged to apply uh, for the junior year and must interview and apply internally before being selected to apply with us. Generally, this kind of creates a sense of selectivity and perhaps something special about the program um, for the students who are chosen. And it also introduces sort of however disagreeably a kind of sense of selectivity that students will face as artists pursuing grants, residencies, and public art commissions. Um, I had some other information here that I'm gonna have to skip in the... Um, in terms of uh, the other second component, in terms of visitation, um, Ringling is sort of currently the only home school that sends a faculty member to see their students' end of semester exhibition. And I think it sends a strong message of commitment to other students, um, to the students, and also provides an opportunity for a faculty member to see the work of other students coming from other programs. Uh, and it's also a great chance to visit New York. Um, and the last uh, part of it, sort of in terms of follow-up, um, you know, from what I've heard from student feedback, really um, Ringling is a program that asks the students to come back and present to their peers and to, um, you know, share their overall experience that they had at the New York Studio Residency Program, which sort of does two things. It, you know, it, it, it allows other students to kind of get a sense of what it was like to be in New York for a semester and also to, um, uh, you know, it, it helps it helps us uh, get the word out about the program to students so that they have some time to kind of effectively budget and plan to deal with some of the other issues that were raised in terms of the cost of housing in New York. And one of our students, because he knew about the program his sophomore year, was able to work over the course of a summer to save enough money to come his senior year. And uh, uh, so I just briefly want to say that while housing is, you know, um, a major concern for our students, it's still, you know, I think it's still very possible. And uh, we had a student currently who, you know, initially spoke to Jay and said that housing was a huge problem. But after the last couple of weeks, she actually said on after Wednesday's seminar that she wished she could amend that statement and that the ability to find housing and accomplish that task had given her a sense of really like strong pride. And she just said, look, well, we all figured it out here. And uh, I, I hope it's not a complete barrier um, for entry for students. 
uh, and for parents who might want a more controlled environment, we do, we are recommending the St. George's Hotel, a student housing provider um, for students. Um, we're actually at 10 minutes, and there were a couple of things I just want to mention really quickly. Um, in terms of other models, not to kind of undercut my own program, um, some of these are compliments and competition, but the Bruce High Quality Foundation University uh, offers free classes in New York City, and some of our residents have taken performance classes and also participated in open mic nights. And, you know, it's a, it's a gift economy model coming from the Bruce's. It's not necessarily sustainable, and I don't think a lot of programs can do anything like that. Um, there is also an arts practicum uh, that's offered in the summer uh, in New York for about $3,000. And it's an eight-week intensive uh, student's mentor with an artist. Um, one of the primary differences, it's a very, it's a relatively short time to spend in New York. And, you know, it's unable to offer students a space to work and experience, you know, maintaining a practice in a studio space. And I, I know that the BFA, MFA, PhD report has kind of um, uh, put out some numbers that are not so great for art schools, but one thing I would point out on their website, they have links to a lot of low cost and alternative models um, that are international um, and local um, that students might be able to take advantage of if they can't afford a semester in New York. Um, and one of those I mentioned during our lunch discussion was SOMA in Mexico City, which is an eight-week intensive. And, you know, there's a whole list of both MFA programs on BFA, MFA PhD's website and then also, um, you know, alternative institutions. So I'm going to stop there, but if uh, anyone would like more information about our program, uh, you can visit our website or email me directly, and you can Google or visit any of these uh, links up here. Thank you.